previously on Dragon Quest Builders. I've upgraded the base quite a bit. Great work. Now we can go fishing. Yay. Why does he sound so unenthusiastic? Tell you what, Multi. You keep that rod. Ah, oh, one of us might as well enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Nope, I've lost it. Harumph! <laughs> Is that like when he gets excited? <laughs> He's so funny. What is he doing? Saw splash. Ah, cool. Oh, that was really easy. We got a sardine. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I am just chilling out in my master bedroom. Love that I have my own bedroom now. I would like to be able to build wooden doors though, but maybe soon, maybe soon. Anyhow, I've actually found something while I was exploring this area. I've put a blue navy globe down over there and we're going to explore that in a second. But first, I think we should really give this this guy in here some sardines because there's a lot of poorly people in here and I think that we should save those ASAP. Oh yeah, another thing that I noticed was that I never actually went in here and looked in the chest. You know where they make the medicines for you and I've got 45 medicinal herbs which is crazy and 30 healing creams so that's going to help a lot and that's how you get those bottles. I wasn't sure how you get those because I actually just got mine from the, you know, that house that we went to and I took down all the walls and everything where I fixed the roof. So I didn't know that the villagers could actually make that, so that's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to head into the cafe and we are going to make some sardines on a stick, right? I think that's what it was. So in here, hopefully I can do this. Sardine on a stick, there we go. And we should be able to make him all better again. We also need to go fishing and I think there's quite a few quests that we still need to do. So here we go. Sardine on a stick, there you go. Don't know why that makes you better, but... Whatever works, I guess. Um, okay, so he needs to sleep now. Should we go to sleep and see if he gets up again? That would be awesome. All right, let's go into our room and have a little nap. Good night. No bedtime story, but I like stories. Here we go. Let's see if he's awake. Let's see if we've got a brand new villager. That would be awesome. They need to get out of bed. Stop being sick and help me around the village. I think that would be awesome. So is he okay now? No. Now he needs tingle tablets. God damn it. <laughs> what does this one need? I don't get what this one needs. It's itchy. Maybe, maybe it unlocks like later or something. I don't know, but this guy needs water. I don't know how to pick up water and move it or anything, and maybe, I don't know if we can do that yet. I'm not sure if this guy's stuck down here. I should have put down some steps on the op opposite side too. I think that's what I'm going to do, because it does look like he is stuck. <laughs> we have a stuck NPC. Alert! Stuck NPC! Okay, we're going to have some stone steps, because they match, and I've already done it all in stone, so let me put some stone on the other side so he can get up. Can you get up now? There we go, he can get up now. Apparently he just needed a little push to get up. So there we go, there we go. They look a bit low down, don't they? I think we need to put a block underneath it actually. So if we put some dirt underneath it, like that, then it should reach the top. There we go, that's better, isn't it? That's a lot better. Nope, I just made him stuck again. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. Well, I personally think it looks better with the block underneath, but the villager doesn't know how to get up and down when there's a block underneath it, but whatever. So we'll just have it like that for now. It's fine, it's fine. Anyway, let's go towards the blue navy globe. I really want to do this one. It's some kind of puzzle, I think. It's like a little structure out in the distance. It was near where the droll defiler was. And I've actually ran into it a few times now, and I've forgot I forgot about it like I ran into it and I was like oh what is that and I was like oh I'll do that later and then I completely forgot about it and then as I was exploring a little bit around this area I bumped into it again and then I was like right I'm gonna put a navi globe there this time so that I remember to do it can't believe how many medicinal herbs and healing creams we have now that is just insane that is a lot crazy I'm not gonna have a problem now with my healing items <laughs> All right, here we are. Here is the structure that I was talking about. I took some of the lights away because I need the lights. <laughs> so there's like a question mark here. There's a message carved into the monuments. I am Thalamus, the all-knowing. May whosoever have wisdom, let its blinding brilliance shine forth. The rooms thou seest before thee are twins, but these twins are not identical. Ah, 
make the these twins true twins. Okay, so the two rooms in front of us, I guess we have to make them identical. So we need to build a wash tub. We build a wash tub. Let me see that. Yep, we can build a wash tub. We need some pots. So two pots for sure. We need one of those flower pot things and a cooking thingy majig. I know what I'm talking about. So a pot plant and one of those cook cook fire, I think they're called. Not sure where it is. Where's the cook fire gone? There it is, there it is. I got it, I got it. Okay, yeah, we should be able to make this the same on the other side now. I'm really excited to see what we're going to get for this. This is so awesome. There's been quite a lot of things like this where we have to do like make them identical. Like there was the, oh, that's the wrong place. Like there was the Hammerhood Garden as well. So I like these ones. I think they're fun. So this one here, yep. And we got a wash tub there. Is that it? Is it done? Oh, we're missing a torch. What is that bodkin doing down there? Looks like he's attacking the wall. <laughs> but okay, we need a torch, a torch, a torch. There we go. Torches. It normally makes loads of them. Yeah, we got five. Okay, let's put that in the corner and it should be done. Yay! Oh, we get two chests? That's nice. Oh, what's that? A white block. Why does it just give us one random white block? What the hell am I going to do with one white block? Come on. Give me a couple of them at least. <laughs> what, what is the point in that? That's so weird. Can we take this question mark? Ah, oh, I can't take the question mark thing. But I can take everything in here, right? Oh, no, no, I can't. I can't take anything on that side. What about the stuff I made? Ah, so I can take the stuff on this side, but not the opposite side. I might as well just take it all because otherwise it's just going to be sat here doing nothing. And I can't actually take these wallings. I know that you can take these wallings if you have wrecking balls. Wrecking balls is the only thing I know of how to break this kind of wall. And I do, I do actually use this kind of wall for pathing on one of my worlds. Yeah, that would be cool if we could get wrecking balls and come back here. That would be really cool. Alright, I'm going to take the steps and everything because I'm a true plunderer. I know it. Okay, so now we're done here. I think we should continue with the story a little bit. So, damn it, I've got no Chimera wings. Oh wait, I might be able to build one. I've got one of these workstations, don't I? Let me see. Put this down, put this back down again. See if I can build, aha, I can build a Chimera wing. That's awesome. I don't wanna walk. It's so weird that it just gave me one random white block. What the hell am I gonna do with one white block? <laughs> I can't build anything with one. I need loads of them. <laughs> Oh, that's so weird. I guess we'll store it for later. I won't get rid of it. I might as well keep it because why not? I'm just going to store it all away. Okay, so we have a quest from... I think that's Nosh that we have to turn in. We need to build an armourer to get these guys out of their peasant clothing. <laughs> so let's talk to him see what he says. Oh no, it's Casey. Ah, I forgot the name. I got mixed up. Oh right, so this was for building the watering hole. Wow, what a watering hole. It's just like I asked for. Thanks, Multi. You're welcome. My granddad always used to say, if you want a clean bill of health, you've got to wash in clean water. Most of the water around here smells like something you'd find behind a boss troll's ear. It's disgusting. It really smell that bad? God, it must really stink in this area then. Ew. But now that we've got our very own watering hole, we don't have to drink that horrible slimy water anymore. If you had something to scoop the water up with, you could serve it to the bedbound patients or even use it to cook with. That's good, yes, I want to do that. Hmm, something to scoop up water with. Hey, you're the builder, right? Surely you'll be able to think of something. Hmm, well, I think maybe a pot? Palm lumber I got for that. Okay, cool. So have I learned to build something? Yep, a bucket. Yeah! Awesome. It can be used repeatedly as well. Alright, let's go see if we can make one of these because I know a lot of things need water. So we need broken branches. I seem to run out of broken branches so much in this chapter. Last chapter it was stone. I always used to run out of stone because of the stone steps. That was so annoying and now it's broken branches. Oh, it's always something. There's always something that I've got to run out of, isn't there? Okay, so that was easy. I just got some, so I should be able to build a bucket. I haven't gathered as much resources as I did on the first chapter. I don't spend as much time on this chapter as I did the first chapter, and that's because I've got three build mode to play with as well now. So some of my time goes towards that. 
So let's get some water. So what do I do? Just go in the water and press square, I think. Scoop. Scoopy scoopy. Yeah, I got some water. Okay, cool. Let's get some more. Let's get a couple. Because I think we need a couple bits of water for everything that we're going to do. How many scoops can I get out of this bucket? Can I just keep doing it forever or does it disappear after a while? I don't know. Does it break after use or something? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's see. I need to give this guy water. Do I just stand here and use? Ah, just use. Okay, cool. Is he okay? I think he might be okay. It's gone blue, so that must mean he's okay now. We also need to make tingle tablets. So let's see if we can do that. So in the herbalist's workshop, tingle tablets, we need cod. Now I've seen sardines, but I'm not sure how you get cod. Maybe I just have to keep fishing to get that. Not entirely sure, but I think we have some more quests to turning, don't we? Don't we, don't we? I think there was some stuff in the cooking station that needed water, wasn't it? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure you had to use water for some other things too. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna rest now. I'm gonna rest in with everybody else today. I feel like sleeping next to everybody else. So we're not gonna go into our master bedroom. The mattresses in here kind of suck. I do need to upgrade them actually. <laughs> it's just that they were easy to make at the time. So we should have... Oh, why has he not got out of bed? They just like staying in there, don't they? <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. We need to make tingle tablets, that's our next objective, I think. And we need to catch sardines, so we need to fish, basically. Because we need sardines and cod, so we do need to fish. Okay, time for some fishing. Let's test my patience. Do I have good patience? I've got pretty good patience, really. Okay, I saw a splash, a broken branch, yay. <laughs> that was rubbish. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, oh, oh no, I missed that one, damn it. Ah, uh, I think there's something attacking the base too. Oh, got one, a broken branch again. Am I actually gonna be able to catch different stuff here? I don't know. I kind of just um, started fishing on top of the block. <laughs> Is it gonna work here? I think it did. I got a branch out of the block. <laughs> la la la, what a lovely day for fishing. Not it's raining. Terrible day for fishing. Oh, something. Yeah, we got a sardine. We need a cod. How do I get cod? That is the question. Also need five of these sardines. So we're going to do quite a bit of fishing today. I got two sardines. Yay. Oh, this might take a while. Got to have a lot of patience for this. Okay, another one. Ah, oh, broken branches. God damn it. Well, at least we're not finding like boots and you know, tin cans and stuff like you do in Harvest Moon when you go fishing. <laughs> you used to always find that stuff. Okay, another broken branches. How many broken branches are down here? <laughs> Seriously. What about this one? No, broken branch. I got six broken branches now. Way, we got our third sardine. Where's the cod though? I wonder where you get the cod from. Maybe you have to go to like a certain place or something to get cod. No idea, but it seems that I've only got sardines in my pond. What luck! I got a broken branch. Is that really luck? I don't think so. <laughs> Although I do need broken branches a lot, but kind of annoying at the moment because I want these sardines. Ah, oh, I missed that one. I pressed it too slow. It was only like a second. It's only like a second slow. Jeez, give me a break. Oh yeah, there's the welly. <laughs> I was waiting for the welly to appear. <laughs> there's actually wellies in this uh, game as well. I don't know why, that is like a common thing when you go fishing in games, they always put like boots and wellies in there for some reason. I don't know why, do people actually find that when they go fishing? Maybe, I don't know. I don't go fishing very often. Yes, another sardine. All right, one more guys, one more. We're nearly there. Come on sardines. Yes, awesome. Okay, we've got enough sardines. I know I've no idea where you get the cods from, but oh look at him run. He's like incredible. I know. Ha 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 Brilliant! You caught me some sardines. Quick, 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 quick! Come on, hand them over, will you? Whoa! <laughs> Calm down. It's just some sardines. Wow! Just look at those smooth, shiny scales, the bright clear eyes, the red glossy gills. He's like a fish fanatic. You've got a real eye for fish, Malty. These little tiddlers look absolutely delicious. All right then, today's the day of my one man fish feast festival. I'm going to gobble them all up, one after the other. Here's hoping I don't pop. Okay, good luck with that. 
gave us some orange oil. Was the oil from the fish? <laughs> okay, looks like he's given us another quest. Wah! Oh, Multi, it's just you. Why do you always sneak up on me like that? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude. You went and caught all those fish for me after all. But after all that fuss I put you through, I realised I don't actually have any way to cook them. Yes you do, I built you a kitchen. The world's been this way for as long as anyone remembers, but I keep forgetting that we've lost the power to make new things. So Multi, what do you say to this plan? If I drew you a blueprint, could you build me a kitchen we can use to fry up those fish? Ah, oh, alright, please hurry. Every second we wait, the sardines you caught me get stinkier and stinkier. Ew. Here's the blueprint for the kind of kitchen I'm after. If you build it just like that, we'll be able to cook up anything we want. Okay, we got Nosh's blueprint. Awesome. Let's take a little look then. I guess I'll build it and then probably just take it down because I've already got a kitchen, but... I guess the NPCs just don't know that for some reason. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Well, it looks quite nice in there though, I will say. We've got tables, apart from the dark walls. Tables, yeah, it's quite small, isn't it? Why have we got stuff on the outside of the house? Okay. Well, we are going to build this next time. Hopefully we can make Nosh a nice kitchen so he's happy and then we'll probably just take it down again. <laughs> other than that, I'm not sure what other quests we have. I think the other quest is just to make the villagers better. And to do that, we need cod to make the tinker tablets so I can't really do a whole lot there I had fun fishing though it was pretty fun all right guys that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time Shoot,